Friends, finally finished up with the Tamiya M1025 Hummer. The project is done, it's completed. I'm very excited about this. This has been a lengthy project, almost about two months from the time I bought it uh, to the ordering the parts and put it together and all and it's been a long process and I thank each and every one of you guys for taking time to watch the video on this build or this restoration restore project. Uh, I do want to give a, a big shout out to Lame Boys RC for giving me a lot of information on the Tamiya Hummer. They definitely helped me out on a lot of where to get parts for, uh, some information about the vehicle alone itself. And I do really do appreciate those guys for helping me out. I will uh, Include a link down in the description box to their channel. Make sure you check them out and subscribe to the channel because I think anybody who takes the time out to uh, help somebody out, uh, help somebody else out, is awesome to me. And uh, those guys are great. So thanks again, uh, Lane Boys RC, for helping me out on this project. So let's go ahead and talk about what I've done so far with the, the build. Uh, everything is pretty much practically brand new on here. Uh, the wheels, the tires, the motor, uh, the bearings and gears is all new. The body is all new, uh, new paint and everything. Uh, so let's talk about the body, what I've done. Um, I actually painted this in a nut, a satin nutmeg actually. And it's kind of more of a traditional army color uh, I went with. And, uh, and I went back and uh, touched up on a few things with some paint, like the front lights and stuff. I painted those along with the... Uh, the tow hooks on the front of it. Also did the little gas lid on the side. Also here on the back. Touched up that well. Uh, touched on that. The little lights on the back there. Um, all new suspension. Shocks is all brand new. Uh, new oil. New. <laughs> Everything is pretty much new on this vehicle. So it is practically brand new now. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the body off of here. And show you what I've done with the chassis and the electronics and stuff. Now. One of the things that you notice is that there's no body mount holes on the front shell here, which is awesome. I like my, my body shells not to have any type of holes, but it does have it here on the rear. Uh, now, the way this t attaches to the chassis, and I'll show you by pulling this off of here. Under the body, there's two little uh, connection pieces, body mount pieces, actually. And what they do is that they actually hook right on top of the uh, suspension arm right here actually and that's where it hooks into so like I said, body's all nice scaled out I got the mirrors on there I also put this little scale uh, snorkeler on there now I really can't tell you where I got this from because I don't really know myself I think I got it from my job site but I'm not sure it's just a little piece of uh, plastic that was laying around and I was like hey that looks pretty cool let me get this and stick it on there that way it gives that that little military Hummer uh, snorkeler. So, yeah. Now, another thing I did is that I got my RC sound system in there to uh, really give this thing um, real life, uh, well, realistic sound effects. So, it has uh, like 10 different uh, built in sound effects, ranging from gasoline, diesel, uh, tuner cars, and there's such. And I'll, you know, I'll sh you know, let you hear that in just a little bit. So let's talk about the chassis here. Now I'll bring it up. Like I said, uh, all new suspension on it, new tires, all brand new, the rims as well. And all these are just like, like the stock wheels and tires that will come with this vehicle. Uh, I'm really not sure exactly what um, kind of tire tread or uh, company it would make these uh, Pacific ones, I'm not <laughs> really sure, but they are Tamayo 1.9. Uh, the rams are a little bit smaller. Uh, they're 1.9s for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to explain that the best as I could. Now, as far as electronics wise goes, everything is brush, uh, nothing brushless on this thing because this is an older RC back in the 1995 era, actually. All right, so uh, I did an ESC, I did a, a C RC ESC, that's the SP. 0318. Uh, like I said, it's a brush ESC with a uh, Dean's connection on it. And uh, it's just a really simple, cheap little um, ESC, and it just fits in there nice and perfect into uh, the slot where I have it at. Uh, it's just a nice little square design, or which I really like. Then I have my Spectrum um, waterproof receiver. If you see that right there, it's the Spectrum. Um, let's see. Spectrum SR200WP, and that's for my Spectrum DX2E. <laughs> I 
had a little uh, blank memory there. Uh, the motor in is new. This is a Mabashi RS540 series motor with a 16, 16 um, pinion. I think pinion. Yeah, pinion. <laughs> now, um, talk about the battery here. I'm running my uh, two cell 5000 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. Um, now, the battery is originally supposed to go right here in this slot, which is designed for the old nickel hydro metal batteries. Well, since my battery pack is square, it won't fit down in there, and I actually tried to cut out and make it fit, which is right here on the side, actually, and uh, it just wouldn't go, so I was like, well, I'll just build a platform, and as you see, the platform right there is sitting on, uh, attached some Velcro to it, and I got these zip ties. Uh, they are actually the quick-release zip ties, so all I gotta do is just push the button, and they'll come undone, so I just pulled my battery pack out. So... That's how I got the battery installed. So it's in its kind of pretty much original area, uh, just on top of it. And this is actually where the electronics would have gone. Well, that was my phone. Sorry, guys. Uh, but that's where the electronics would go at if I went with that, you know, that route. But I didn't. So uh, yeah. So came pretty, came pretty, uh, came together pretty well. <laughs> now I did want to swap out the dry shaft and put an aftermarket one in it and I ordered one but it was ended up being the wrong uh, dry shaft I thought this was a T02 chassis uh, but I think Lane Boys RC said that it was a DF01 or something like that uh, I'm not exactly sure um, it's not a bad dry shaft it's just uh, when the vehicle starts moving it has a little bit of a kind of a sloppy lag to it and um, but once it gets up to a little speed or, or whatsoever, uh, it, it smooths out and does all right. It's just when you're going at a slower sp uh, speed, uh, you'll start s seeing like the jumpiness a little bit. I'll, uh, I also do want to talk about the differentials. Now this is an all-wheel drive, uh, well full four-wheel drive, but um, not full-time four-wheel drive. It's kind of part-time four-wheel drive. Um, but I did do something on. The vehicle is I actually swapped the diffs. Now the rear diff is a uh, ball bearing diff and the front diff is just the regular diff from like a CC01 uh, transmission and stuff, uh, front differential. <laughs> All right. uh, so what I did, I ended up uh, switching the front differential to the back and putting the back one to the front and what I did with the one I switched from the front to the back is I locked that diff so that way I would have both tires moving in the same direction. Now the front has the ball bearing diff on it, so as you see, it's rotating the opposite way. Now I am going to fix that later on. I just got to get the, uh, the CC01 diff and put in there and lock it, and that way I'll have full time full wheel drive. So I think next is to go ahead, put the body on, plug up the uh, sound system, and let you guys hear the sound that I decided to go with. So let me get the body on there and you'll hear the sound. All right, so I got the body shell on, the sound unit is hooked up. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and give a little demonstration. So turn on the controller first, green light means we're good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set the Hummer on top of my little work stand here or workstation. And uh, that way when I test it out, it won't run off anywhere. So let's go ahead flip the switch which is right here if I can get to it and nice little turbo diesel sound like I said this sound unit has 10 different ones ranging from gasoline and diesel to touring cars I decided to go with this kind of turbo diesel sound so let's grab the controller and let's do it
that's the sound system on the Hummer. I hope that you folks like it. Um, it just turns out a great build. It, and, and All right, so that's the sound unit on the Hummer. Hope that you folks liked it. If you did, please like the video, comment down below. If you got any questions whatsoever on this vehicle, I will be happy to answer them as best as I can. If I can't, I will find out the answer for you guys. Uh, so yeah, so I'm excited the Hummer project is done and uh, get it out there in the trails. As soon as it clears up, it's been raining the last few days, so once it clears up, I'll get this thing out there on the trails for the first time and see exactly what this little beast can do here. I'm always excited to have a Hummer here in my collection. Well, folks, thanks for watching, and uh, remember, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Help me grow, and I'll see y'all in the video of this little sucker running.